Welcome back to the channel. My name is Perry Zhang. I'm the founder and CEO of Cashflow Marketplace. Cashflow Marketplace is a marketplace to help you achieve financial freedom. nice to have you back here. We're going to go over questions today. A lot of viewers may be curious to know, what are the most important habits to be a successful entrepreneur? I think honestly, the biggest trait is the ability to deal with your ego. What I mean by that is ego protection, the ability to face the difficulties, yet at the same time, protecting your ego. The other way of saying that is being resilient. I'm just going a little bit deeper. So in the early stages of any worthwhile endeavor, whether you're LP or GP trying to quit your job, you're probably not wanting to quit your job because you're afraid of this new thing will bring failure, which could make you look like a laughing stock among your friends. You are probably not raising money because you are not talking to other LPs, fearing that they might laugh at what you're doing. You are probably not uh, starting a company because you don't really want to talk to the customers because they might tell you to F off. And people are most likely not going to treat the hypothesis of their startup with the scientific dispassionate eyes because they are afraid that if that hypothesis is not correct, their startup is over. The single most important thing a entrepreneur or any business owner can do is to face the reality, the very thing they're afraid of and test it while knowing that it could fail, but it's important to confront it. In my case, at this very moment is the ratings and the reviews. I don't walk into it with full confidence. This is the first time we're doing it. I am afraid, but maybe a few months or a few years from now, it's one of the best things we've done. Or maybe it's actually not that good and we'll shut down the reviews feature. The other example is I know what's the worst case scenario. As long as I cover the worst case scenario, I am good, I'm happy. So before I started my startup, I actually moonlight for a year and a half. And for me, my decision calculus was if I'm going to pour everything I make from my W2 job and then spend that money on building the team for a year and a half. And I'm not going to make any money during that time. So what's the worst case? The worst case is that I work two jobs and my net worth does not increase at all. The company goes to nothing. We build this product nobody wants. I wasted a year and a half learning a bunch of skill sets, but I literally spent everything I make into a company that makes nothing. So that was the worst case scenario. And I thought to myself, well, I'd be okay with that. From a monetary perspective, I was totally okay. And there might be some things with ego, which is I kind of waste a year and a half. People might laugh at me that I did not succeed and that I was on a faster trajectory in terms of financial freedom compared to my peers. So if this doesn't work out, I basically set a year and a half back and I will be in the same financial position as everyone else. So why? That's, that's not as good. But at the same time, it could catapult me. So once I swallow that ego and be okay with this bottom line that, okay, for this whole year and a half, I don't make anything and I'm okay with that, then it liberates me to just be, and I'm okay with the status quo. I'm okay spending the next year and a half not increasing my net worth, not increasing my disposable income, but that it's all going to the company. Thanks for giving us that answer. Well, as an individual, I tend to think that facing insecurity, being more competent is more of like a self-development process. So it will technically help anyone grow as a person. And the way you put it out there, it doesn't just apply to entrepreneurship, but it does a lot of, affect a lot of different people as well. Absolutely. Cool. Awesome. Mm. Right. Stop.